Well, I welcome you to our study. It's a real joy to see you. I don't know if I'll be sued for naming titles or not, but I, that's all right. Billy Graham's Bible Blaster? Keep firing! Convert the heathens! If you're murdering somebody in cyberspace, in a sense, you're performing the act, you like it or not. You know, this guy comes to my house. He's a Satanist from one of the Satanist churches here where they sacrifice babies. I know Jesus. That man is or can become a God. We urge you just to call a neighbor and tell him to watch along with you or for you to... Uh, uh, get comfortable there and get ready for it. Greetings, one and all. It's the Lord's Brother Day. William. It Brother is Ian. the Lord's Day. It's time for rest and prayer. I am so excited for this here beginning of our Subpixel Ministries and Sunday service. Tell me, Brother William, how excited are you for some prayer today? I am more excited than the rich man going through the eye of the needle. Oh my goodness, I'm more excited than Miss Betty finding more cucumbers in her garden. She just got so many. You get any from her? I got two cucumbers, and I'm hiding both of them right now. I tell you what, I'm making my wife Betty. She's making so many cucumber sandwiches. We got loaves of bread through our ears. But regardless of that, we got a show for you tonight. We've got something incredible. But before we do that, we need to praise the Lord. Brother William, will you please provide today's daily verse? I will. Let me just find my papers because that is the one thing I forgot oh, brother to have William, up on my screen. I will never question your devotion, but I will always doubt your organization. Um, this here, we want our daily verse. That is what we are saying. It is our bread. That's correct. It is our bread. Uh, Brother Ian, I know I, we normally start these, uh, services with a verse from the Bible, but since I haven't gotten around to reading it yet, uh, I thought we instead we start for the quote from our favorite patron saint, Saint Halucha. Uh, I'm sorry, it's about our favorite patron saint, Saint Halucha. It's actually a quote from Martin Luther, 95 Thesis. And, uh, he says of our saint of guidance, and it goes something like this. The man knows Pokemon. And I just think those are sweet words from a sweet man about a sweet saint. How, how do you feel about that? That's so true. Uh, let me tell you something. I'm normally not a fan of the Pokemons, but I am a fan of saints and Saint Halucha. Lord in heaven, one day, one day I will meet Saint Halucha in heaven or on earth. Not quite sure which one yet. Brother William... I believe we also have a daily hymn. Is that correct? Uh, yes, we do have a daily hymn. Uh, unfortunately, I left the tape in my 1998 oh, Honda Accord. Um, oh, it's brother. stuck in there. Um, but for those listening at home, you can go to the YouTube. Um, it's a lovely site run by Satanists. Uh, and you can look up, it is called, I believe, Like a Prayer by Madonna. Um, it's all about prayer and how much we like it. I actually haven't heard that it That sounds yet. like a... That's a lovely song. I haven't heard mm -hmm. it either, but if it's got prayer in the title, it's got to be God Cleanly. God Cleanly, I'm on my knees. I'm on my knees for uh, God. Brother Ian, why don't you tell, tell the folks at home a little bit about the Sunday service? Yeah, Sunday service. Look, we've been doing church. It, we, we, Brother William, how many years have we been in the church? I've lost count. At least half of one. That's right. <laughs> That's right. At least half of our time in the church service, we've been together, the two of us. Some people call us the duo brothers, the traveling brothers, the brothers in Christ. That's us, Brother William, Brother Ian. True. We've got quite a show for you today. This is the first time, though, due to the coronavirus, we are taking our show digital. That's right. Our Sunday service show is going to be something unique. We realized, Brother William and I, just how corrupt the minds and hearts of these millennials are. All they care about praise is... the Lord. That's right. Praise the Lord. That's all, all they care about is them Pokemons and them Fortnites. And uh, the truth is, there are so many good, clean Christian video games out there on good, clean Christian consoles in good, clean Christian controllers' hands that we want to share them with you today. And that's what this service is about. We're going to be showing off the best... Oh, God, yes, that, that beautiful music, the best of Christian video games, and you folks have already found it out. We have incredible ways for our congregation to sound off, both through channel points and bits. You can just check out our little channel Hallelujah. points option to play. Holy shit. 
That's right. Hallelujah. Holy shit. We've got some ways for you to sound off all throughout the stream. That's Feel free. Stuff, baby Jesus. That's right. Baby Jesus is going to be with us here in spirit. Mm -hmm. That's right. If you minimize the stream, you can also find a way underneath it to play even more incredible sound alerts via bits. So that's channel points and bits to sound off. Who knows? Maybe in the future, we even got more ways that y'all can contribute to this incredible Sunday service. But that's enough of the intro, folks. Brother William, I believe it's time for our first game. And uh, I'm just looking at the notes here. It says it's called Heaven's Quest. I do declare Heaven's Quest. I'm going to have those AV folks right now lower down the uh, the screen there. Um, hey, 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 bitch, you better praise God or I'm a shooting that's on God. I ain't playing by my Lord and Savior. I'm on my job. That's right. I just you do better love praise God. that hood music. Okay, um, let's it makes uh, tone that down just a little bit. <laughs> Uh, all of God's children. We love all of God's children. We love and their music. Um, folks, I, I'm just going to hit a button here that's going to make your lives so much better. And it's oh, it's playing. It's it's Windows 95. You know what? We love you... Windows 95. Oh, that's right. It's incredible. <laughs> the only good operating system. I've got, you see, I've got my Internet Explorer widgets over here that suddenly installed themselves. <laughs> I saw that. I get the chills today. on my memories. Um, so just be aware. And we've got this small piece of hay in the middle because it won't tile for some uh, no, reason. I think it's bamboo. It's bamboo. You're right. It won't so, tile? <laughs> it would, but it made me want to throw up. <laughs> oh, God. So it makes sense. I do like that Windows 95 teal. I mean, the Windows 95 is perfect. Uh, Can I just gonna... say something? I noticed you have DivX in your uh, menu. Somebody the other day, one of my coworkers, hand to God, this is the truth. They said they've been in the industry for a long time and they got started working at DivX. And I went, oh my God, I remember DivX. Just a little blast from God's past for you. What just is that small... baby doing? What, in, <laughs> what is happening here? That's now what we're on be... the arc. Should I be hearing this, by the way? You hopefully I can send it. I wonder if Discord is not sending it, but I can send it like that if that helps. That works. That works. And for the stream, can you please tell us if you're here in the game? Yes, please. Amen. Oh my God, is this a praise be? Praise be. Praise be. Praise. This is. Be. Is are, this Mario Party? Brother Ian, are you ready to weigh your sins? I am ready to weigh my sins. Are Apparently ready the audio is a little low if we want to tweak it a little bit high. Praise Jesus. Praise your hands to Jesus. Raise the volume for the congregation. I raise the volume for the congregation. Just let me know. Is uh, this Brother William? Look, I'm not a big fan of them Japanese heathens making Mario Party games, but is this a Christian Mario Party? It may might actually be a Christian oh Mario goodness. Party. <laughs> so ooh, Hallelujah. Okay. Um, okay. I have to remember how to play this. <laughs> oh, the baby! Hallelujah. Uh, that's the internet services for the website. We can stop playing if we want to. Um, also, help. But I think we should play the game. That's correct. That's correct. Let's play this game. This is called... Oh, we're going to have two players here. Um, Heaven's Quest. Uh, I think I might be the knight... As I am Sir Clanxalot. <laughs> Sir Clanxalot. Um, but we could also be Jesus? Spaceman Biff. <laughs> or Grandma Moses. I excuse or me. Baby. Was Moses. <laughs> Moses was not a woman. I want to be very clear. I'm going to be Sir Clanxalot. Let's do it, Sir Clanxalot. Um, my question difficulty. You know, I know the Lord so well. I get, that I, mostly I get easy. mostly hard. I get mostly hard for the Lord, to be honest with you. I do get mostly hard for the Lord. Uh, and who would you like to be? Oh my God, baby. Baby. I love me, my baby Jesus. Somebody are in the chat, please hard? sound off with you still some mostly baby hard Jesus. or are you very hard? Let's do, uh, let's do mostly easy. Oh, come I on. I don't really get hard for babies. <laughs> baby's first. Baby's first Mario party. <clears throat> Here we go. Oh my God. Now, would you like to uh, buddy, grace, pray, move, or prefs? Let's let's pray. Let's pray. God's free gift of grace. Just ready for battle, my lord. Right. <laughs> now, what would this you like incredible. to do? No, I think it's your turn. It's Sir Clank's a lot turn. Oh, is it? Oh, it is. Oh, I'm also gonna pray. Oh my goodness. 
It is now your turn. <laughs> can I can I move, please? We're gonna hit move. That's cool. You were tempted. Then the Lord said to Cain, Why are you so angry? Why is your face downcast? If you if you do what is right, will you not be accepted? But if you do not what is do white, Sai is crunching at your door. It desires to have you and you must master it. <laughs> I'm sorry, brother, but I think that's sin. Oh, sorry. Would you like to choose oh, my a good tablet? Name. One is Judas. <laughs> One is. I don't want Judas. I know that much. I'm new to this game, but I do not want Judas. Can you please pick the bottom right? This one? That's correct. John. John. Blessed be to John. The wages, the of, wages of sin are what? A death? That's great. Death is great. Thank you. Oh, folks. Praise be. Praise be. Ready for battle, my lord. I'm going to move. I got tempted. <laughs> Mizuki, I'm not reading chat. it again. I apologize, brother. Will, you mispronounce sin because you have never seen sin before. Very good point out, Mizuki. I picked Thank Judas. You. you picked Judas? What happened? I don't know. It just went to your turn. Oh, my goodness. Can we move? Uh, would you like to move? Guess what? You were tempted. Thus he overthrew those cities in the entire plain, including all those living in the cities, and also the vegetation in the land. But Lot's wife looked back, and she became a pillar of salt. That's not good. I mean, salt's good. Can you pick the top left, please? Bartholomew. Bartholomew. Praise be. Praise be. Why are there 3D glasses? I don't know. Is it oh, a it's a 3D image. Oh. Do you think this game came with 3D glasses originally? I hope so. I, uh, I don't have any. Is this me or you? Do you get to choose again? Uh, let, you know, let's choose again. Dude. Who was the first who who first rebelled against God? Jesus, first the Romans, rebelled? Lucifer and his followers, Adam and Eve. It was L Lucifer and his followers. That's great. Oh, no, praise be Jesus. Amen. You get to go again. <laughs> Look at this guy Can I, at the fire. What does the grace button do? Uh, if I could get to it. Uh, it just Nothing. means you have grace. What about buddy? Nothing there? Nothing there. Let's move. Which book of the Bible does this verse come from? Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for thou art with me. Is that... Is that Psalms? That's great! Hallelujah! I am a true child of Jesus and God. They're basically the same. Hey, man. Hey, it's finally my turn. Oh, my grace is going down, but I'm going to move. Not at full grace. Doing a random temptation check before moving. <laughs> a random temptation check. I got tempted. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank Praise you, the Baron. Lord. Medium. What did King Darius do when Daniel spent the night in the lion's den without being harmed? Wrote a proclamation to his people saying Daniel's God was a living God. Threw him back in the lion's den. Exiled him from Babylon. Made him the next king of Babylon. Babylon. Well, I, I, I think he wrote a proclamation. That is great. Amen. Dang, you can go out of Egypt. <laughs> Why are there so many horses? I'm moving! What? I'm moving you! <laughs> There's so many horses! Why are they oh so upset? God. Who was thrown oh into the Jesus. lion's den by the wicked king? What the This is you. Was it wasn't that the previous question? Yes. Wasn't it wasn't it David? Is that your final answer? Yes. Good try. It was Daniel. Oh, tiddlywinks! <laughs> Ready for battle, my lord. I'm gonna pray. Okay, it's your turn. Can I move, please? My mouse keeps disappearing. The seagulls are angry. <laughs> Jesus changed Saul's name after Saul came to believe in him. Did he change it to Paul or Solomon? I believe it was Paul. Jesus is a little lazy. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Just one letter. Just one letter. my lord. Oh, God. Bible buddy! Abraham <gasps> joins you as your Bible buddy! Yo, Where's I got his son, though? Abraham. Where's Isaac? Oh. Uh oh. Oof. Oof. <laughs> he actually, God didn't oh, get there in move. time. <laughs> 
tempt me, Lord. I shall pass. Oh no. Oof. Oh no. What did God do on what the did... seventh day? He created uh, heaven and earth. He made a man out of dust. He rested. He came down from heaven as a man. You know what today is? Today's the day of rest. He rested. Fantastic. Thank you. Ready for battle, my lord. I got tempted. Uh, not that one. Thomas. Who became a leper after n -n -n -m 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 man was cured in punishment for his greed? N -m -m man come on. Good try. It was gay. <laughs> Yazi. Abraham leaves you to return to his altar. Turn to his altar. <laughs> the jerk. Bye, Abraham. Can I move, please? I'm all full of prayer, to be honest with you. I'm all full of prayer. Oh, no. Oof. I've been tempted. Damn you, Mary Magdalene. What is the fifth book what of the Old Testament? Uh, it's it's uh, Deuteronomy. That's great. Oh, praise be. Praise, praise be. be. Ready for battle, my lord. I'm praise ready for me. battle, my lord. Crazy. Leah was Rachel's sister. Oh, that's First correct. Try. Move? Yeah, move me. I'm ready to win this game. Beautiful. How did the wise men know that the great king had been burned? Had born? <laughs> They uh, they saw a star and followed it. I know my baby Jesus story. Ready for battle, my lord. Who's winning? I think you're far ahead of me. Which of these were the sons of Rachel? Uh, Jacob and Esau. I have failed, my liege. Oh, I'm sorry. I apologize. Can I move? I really like this beach music. I don't know. I prefer the horses. Uh oh, you got tempted by a giant old calf. Which one would you like to choose? Four or Judas? Can I take the middle right? This one. Yeah. Ready for battle? Get no! out! Stop, Stop it. Judas. <laughs> the Bible certainly is one of. If not, I mean, it is the book. Let's pray together, may we? Yes. <laughs> We've got beautiful, one of our favorite I brethren, am. Brother Trump. I'm a Protestant. Brother Trump. I'm very proud of it. Uh, Presbyterian to be exact. I'm Presbyterian. Boy. That's what did the Lord say to Cain? Where's your brother? <laughs> I need to whoop him. I have great relationship with God. What would you like to do? Relationship with, uh, Can I evangelicals. And I go to church a lot. Move, always please. On Christmas, always on Easter. On always How long is this Brother Trump, Trump clip? And during the, during it's two the minutes. Sundays, uh, I'm a Sunday church person. Is like there a weird echo on your side for this, Brother William? When we go in church and, and when I no, but I wonder wine, if it's coming through your Discord and my audio. I guess that's the form of it could be. It very well could I do that as well. Eve is Adam's wife. Wow, that's right. Oh, I answered it for you. I do something wrong. Okay, I'm, I it's just on my side. I'm hearing visions. And I'm hearing voices. <laughs> Brother Trump does that to you. Who did Jesus meet by Jacob's well? Well, he met Jacob. What do you think, Brother William and congregation? Should we keep playing this here game, or should I mean, we, we can move on? on. Um, Maybe he's not as nice a, as let's wait for all the sounds to end. It's we'll a giant move. sword lady. Why do you think those voters are? I'm just gonna move well, you. I'm Protestant. I'm Presbyterian, which means something. <laughs> Maybe he's not as perfect on the Bible. I did go to Sunday school for many years. I want to tell you. I get sent Bibles by a lot of people. Where are all those Bibles anyhow? Well, actually, we, we keep them. We <laughs> no, that's false. False. My second favorite book of all time. What's my Ready first favorite my book? The Bible. The Bible is special. The Bible. The Bible. The, Bible. the more you see it, the more you read it, the more incredible it is. Are you an Old Testament guy or a New Testament guy? Uh, probably equal Proverbs. The probably never equal. Been to I've had all of my life. Oh. Right in the two line. Corinthians, right? Two Corinthians, three seventeen. Uh, what did Cain say? Is this my turn no or yours? I, I don't know. Do. Am I my brother? God is the ultimate. <gasps> God this. And you know, here's the Pacific Ocean. This right? is like the Behind Bible's greatest soul. settings. Uh, nobody, no thing, no. There's nothing like that. 
Birth of Christ, God's free gift. Um, my preferences are for. Oh, you can change the Bible. Turn the 3D. Oh, we could have gone turbo. All right, I think that's it. Let's end this game. I hate this game. I, I need to stop. Yes. Uh, Brother Ian, what an incredible game. Yes. That's correct. Maybe you could give a quick synopsis and judgment on that there, Christian, video game as I prepare for the next segment. Yes. Uh, folks, what an incredible game we just witnessed. Um, it it is it is an honor as a man uh to be able to say that this game has changed my life um and has also changed the lives of other lives uh, brother ian uh will be getting back to us very soon but until then uh, i'm gonna hit a button and change my spirit um and change your spirit but how we doing out there um in the different i'm sorry i'm seeing things in my life i'm seeing uh how are things out there in the congregation how we doing um oh i guess i guess we're good to go um we're gonna be heading over here uh to i believe the bible study where uh reverend dr ian is uh gonna be hitting us up let me let me switch over to there in one second and there we go hello everybody I'm Youth Pastor Chad, emphasis on the youth. I love kids. Let me tell you about this here book. It's the Holy Bible. I know you probably think this is boring. It's a big old book, bigger than your school textbooks. But uh, little Willie out there, tell me what you know about the Bible. Uh, it's really long. That's right. Look at this, all these pages. But my name's Chad. I love the youth. And I'm here to talk to you about stories and how you can relate to these stories. Now, let me tell you a little story about somebody I like to call the big old JTC. That's right. Jesus Timberlake Christ. I know he's a little hard to understand, but maybe Brother Billy, you could tell us what you know about Jesus Christ. I know he went bye, bye, bye. And that he <laughs> rose again after three days. And he makes his body taste like paper. That's right. His body does taste like paper, but that's his flesh, and we are destined to taste of it. But here's the thing. The thing about Justin Timberlake Christ, he's a little bit like another person I'm sure you're more familiar with. Somebody that uh, is real cool. Somebody that we all know about. Somebody that makes billions and billions of dollars every day. Somebody who also was stuck in a cave for a long time, but came out stronger and better. Somebody who had a uh, change of heart and then came across to help the world. And somebody who gave their life for so that we may live. I'm talking about Iron Man. That's right, Tony Stark. He's just like Jesus. Brother Billy, tell me, tell me about Tony Stark. What do you know about that boy? He sleeps with a lot of women. And he's got shards okay, of metal. That's pre, that's pre cave. We're not talking about before Tony Stark went in the cave. Because if you notice, he was a bad man. He was a bad man, just like Jesus had his little flings with Mary Magdalene. And Tony Stark, you see, he got stuck in a cave and he found the power in his heart and he came out with that little arc reactor thingy. Just like Jesus found the power in his heart to come back to life. And he came back and he sowed destruction upon all the non-believers who may or may not have been Muslim. It was not very clear in the movie, but it was a, a little bit questionable. Mr. Just Chad. like Jesus came back to life and killed all those Romans in Jerusalem. Tony Mr. Stark Chad. then became a better man. <laughs> he became a better man and he gave up all his money. He gave up all his weapons and destruction. Do you know what happened to Tony Stark in the end? Brother Billy? He got little Billy dead. <laughs> That's right. How did he die? What did he do to die? He defied a god. Thanos, let me be there, little Billy. How dare you, little Billy? Thanos is not a god. He's a heathen. He is a self-believer. 
He liked to proclaim himself. He is an apostate, though. He is not a god. You know why he's not a god? Because he died. He died at the hands of Tony Stark. But what did Tony Stark do to kill Thanos, little Billy? He snapped. He snapped? <laughs> That's right. He snapped. And he gave up his life so that Thanos and all his evil people may die. And he brings back all those people to life, just like Jesus died for our sins so that we may live in his blessing. Praise be thy name, Tony Stark and Jesus. Brother Billy, can we have a prayer real quick? Little teen youth prayer. Dear teen Tony Stark, how am I supposed to do what you did in a cave with a box of scraps? I hope to one day be able to. Captain America's better. Bye. Amen. Thank you so much, little Billy. Folks, I hope you've learned a very good lesson in today's teen Bible study. As always, I'm Youth Pastor Chad. Emphasis on the youth. I love the kids almost as much as I love the Bible. We'll see you next time when I explain another very important, very difficult part of the Bible in terms that even stupid little kids like you can understand. Thank you. Amen, Brother Chad. That was wonderful. It is great to see the Lord swell up inside you the way uh, it swells up inside me. <laughs> Lord, uh, we praise Tony Stark and we praise his name for the way he does himself. Um, I, I think Brother Ian's coming back here. Let me just get him back in the sanctuary. There he oh, is. Oh, please be the Lord. I'm sorry. I had to go <sighs> empty the little, you know, <laughs> Christian juice tank, if you know what I'm seeing. I had to go make a prayer at the big white porcelain. Apologies for that, folks. But I'm back, and uh, it's my understanding that you all had a nice little session with Youth Pastor Chad. How'd that go? It was it was riveting. It was God. It was, it was a box of scraps in a cave. It was just, it was incredible. Uh, those documentary films are enlightening, to say the least. That's incredible. But my understanding is we have more good, wholesome Christian games to play. We've got a new one for us. Is that right? Maybe once you, maybe how about you get that set up and I'll read a little uh, prayer at random from the uh, Bible while you do that. How oh, that sound? You do that. I want a random, random prayer Bible. Here we go. Dear God. Is hey, that, oh, I'm sorry. I thought I played something by accident. <laughs> Thank you, Kyle of the Beard. I really wish we were playing Halo. Halo is the most Christian video game. I've said that for years. It's right in the title. Uh, here we go. Psalm 111, verse 1. Praise the Lord. I will extol the Lord with all my heart in the council of the upright and in the assembly. Great are the works of the Lord. Amen. Amen, Brother Ian. Oh, Bible Games Company. That's a good start. What is this? What is this game called? Naka? Naka. Not gonna do it. <laughs> Amen. This is Naka. Journey from Darkness to Light. This is uh, in the tradition of mist. Mmm, the Lord's music. Uh, let's. Oh. Ooh, I caught two teens making Naka one time. <laughs> let's, let's let's look at making Naka. We gotta make Naka first. Oh, sorry, I gotta click. Oh no, brother Ian. Oh. I think one of the hardest things in making Naka was doing all of the 3D graphics. Naka. I've done a lot of graphics Naka. and artwork before, but I've never taken on a project as challenging as Naka. At each position in the game, I had to render four pictures for north, east, south, and west. It was quite <laughs> challenging. I use a program called Imagine for Windows. It does an excellent job on shadows and lighting. Another big challenge in making the call was getting the sound four effects pictures. of music. Some of the, the songs I've never seen myself. a more boring. I'm sorry, I've never seen a more boring behind the scenes. I made on the violin. See, so you gotta set the, the frame rate of the camera kind of to the like frame the rate of the monitor, that way you don't get those lines. Sound the, I don't think that's how you play the Lord's violin. No. This is heathen. I mean, it, it is if you want to be a little bit racist and play it like it's from a different region. How many times are we gonna show this same clip? <laughs> I don't know. Can we exit this, please? I hope. Oh, thank God. Wait, let me turn the game volume back down for all the people at home. Nakaa. <laughs> 
Let's not say it at all now. <laughs> uh, let's start. Uh, what do we call it? The. I'm not. No, I'm not gonna. Let's play this game. Let's play this game. Hakan is backward. <laughs> In this Ugh. game, you will need to keep your King James, James Bible close. I got it. Bye. I got it. It holds the answers to all your questions. Folks, you let me know if I need to turn that up. I can turn it up. I see someone complaining in the congregation. Oh, which way do we go? North, south, east, or west? Let's go forward. It's too dark to see. Oh. ABCD. That's good information. Oh my goodness. Save Data Chris has the limited edition Prima Guide certified Bible. Oh my goodness. Love when you can interrupt sound effects. That's the Lord. That's the Lord's blessing. Can you. How, how do we leave this place? How do I escape? It? Oh. G? What is it? Let there be light. Oh, I didn't even see that. Let there be light. <laughs> I thought that said A, B, C, D, H. <laughs> what? No, it does, but it says, And God said, let there be lug. <laughs> Do you know how to spell light, Brother William? Oh, oh. praise be. Shit. We got light. <laughs> Language. Sorry. Brother William. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> oh, God said, let. Uh, how did I get back in the other room? I need to lower need the bridge. Lower. Oh. What's, What's the, the slot? Okay. Now I'm mad. Need to find the code for lowering the bridge. Let me help you, Tony brother. Stark, give me your give me your strength. Rod, do not know. Let me help you, do. brother. Turn left at the bridge. Turn left. Is there a key on the wall? Is that a key? Oh my goodness. It is. <laughs> well, I'm sorry this is about the tiniest thing on my monitor I've ever seen. Maybe you could open the door with the key you just found. I sure hope so. Jeez. Brother, are you having a stroke? It seems like you can't really click Everywhere anything. Everywhere I proper... click, everything dies. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Password, you need to lower the bridge across the crevice. It can be found John 21. Hint, how many fish did they catch? I'll look it up. I, I, you know, oh. I'm just going to say it. I, I do like that I have to have my Bible handy to find answers to this. However, uh, oh, I found John. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Or... What is it? John 21? John 21. John, is that chapter 21? I sure hope so. John 21. Jesus and the miraculous catch of fish. Afterward, Jesus appeared again to his disciples by the Sea of Tiberias. It happened this way. Simon Peter Thomas called Didymus. <laughs> Nathaniel, <laughs> Nathaniel from I Cana, believe it's pronounced dead mouse. <laughs> the scene, the sons and two other disciples were together. I'm going out to fish. Some people will go with you. Excuse me. Let me just, friends, haven't you any fish? Let me throw. Jesus said, bring some of the fish you have caught. Uh, 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 excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm trying to. Ian, you have the NIV version I've been being told. I'm pretty sure the number will be the same. I don't think that will change. Uh, excuse me. Throw your net on the right side of the boat and you will find some. Because of the large number of fish. Towing the net full of fish. They landed, they saw five. Bring some of the fish. 153 large fish. Praise Jesus. Thank you to the chat Thank for you, getting Baron. that answer way faster than Brother Ian. <laughs> Oh, don't worry. We can save at any time. Wait, did I, you put in 153? I, I did. What about the button on the right-hand side, you idiot? Whoop. I'm sorry. I'm how, would, how do you see that? <laughs> uh, 
I'm sorry, folks. We love good Christian games, but truth is, Brother William's not a great gamer. I walked into He's a great dark Christian. Cave. Turn around. Look up. Is there a key on the bridge that just got raised? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's go forward. <laughs> Language. You know what? I don't think we should play this game anymore because Brother William cannot contain himself. <laughs> I'm playing this, this game. game. Folks, uh, I hate this game. Should we move on, Brother Ian, you think? We should move on. We really should. I think so. I'm going to go here and exit, and we're moving on to our next presentation. Um, ugh. What a crappy game. Someone email Cheyenne. Tell her this ain't, ain't the way we got to do it. Perhaps uh, perhaps you need some time to prepare or, or disappear oh, for the next segment. Is that correct? Perhaps I do. I'm going to switch it over to you, brother. Is it on there me now, go. brother? It's, it's on you, brother. Oh, thank you, brother. I'm just getting prepared. Folks, one of my favorite parts of any church service is confession. Uh, now, I know confession is not a normal part of a Southern Baptist church service, let alone a Twitch digital service, but we feel it is very important to faith. So here we have one of you poor heathens is going to come and confess a sin to me and tell me all about it, what happened, what you were feeling, what you were thinking. And we're going to take it very seriously. Some people like to laugh during confession, but we are not going to be laughing during confession. We're going to be taking it very seriously. And at the end of it, I will tell them what their penance is. I will pass judgment on them and I will tell them what they must do to find themselves back in the Lord's good graces. It's very important. Part of sinning is admitting. I'm not going to say it's okay to sin, but as long as at the end of the day you go to Jesus and you say, look, I harmed a lot of people and I'm not going to apologize to them, but I will apologize to you. That's good enough in the Lord's eyes. Quite frankly, it's kind of nice. You can do whatever you want as long as you come back into the Lord at the end and say, I'm sorry, Lord. Hallowed be thy name, and then all will be forgiven. All will be forgiven. Do we have a confessor? Uh, Not yeah. yet. <laughs> We're going to switch over right now. <sighs> Hello, little, uh, <clears throat> little member of the flock. What's your name? Oh, I'm sorry. You're not supposed to tell me. That's part of confession. I don't know who you are. But um, <laughs> tell me. My name's Trey. No, Trey. I'm sorry. I'm not supposed to know your name. <laughs> oh, sorry. I've it never done up. this I before. apologize. I like to be very close to my congregation, but uh, this is an anonymous confession. So please, uh, Brother Trey, Brother Anonymous, tell me what tell me what happened. Um, uh, there's a lot, and I got to pick from from one of these. It's um, okay. I'm sure you've been sinning a lot. We yeah, all do. So kind of like just just tell me, tell me, tell me what's going on. So I was like at public transport. Cause I work daily and I'm exhausted when I have to work, you know, and I take the bus to work and mm -hmm. on this past week I go to sit and I find a guy in his business attire and he's just sitting there. He's got his hand on the empty seat. So okay. I kind of just walked over and I said, Hey, is this seat taken? And he said, yeah. And I said, by who? And he was like my hand. I said, no. So I sat on his hand. You and, sat on his hand? Yeah. In public transport? In a public transport. I, I, I have a very important question for you. Yeah. Was his hand palm up or palm down? It was, it was palm down. It was palm down. Okay. Was yeah. his knuckles raised or were they flat? Oh, they were flat, man. Okay. Now, when you sat on his palm... Be honest with me. Did you feel anything? <clears throat> I felt his fingers on my touchy spots. On your touch? And how did that make you feel? Be honest with me. I felt like I had power over him. <laughs> you have... And how, could you describe this feeling of power over him? Like he was my bitch. <laughs> Pardon well, my language. I understand sin's difficult, but please, let's use the Lord's, Lord's language here. Um... How did, uh, did you do anything? Did you I move farted. a lot? 
Oh, okay. How Anyways, did, how down to my react? my question for you. Um, so we're going out on Thursday, and I was just kind of wondering: Are there any good like sushi places around here? Um, excuse me, going out with who? Oh, uh, the man, the hand man. Hey, that is inappropriate, sir. Inappropriate. What I'm hearing is you're having homosexual thoughts, which is inappropriate. It's Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. But let me be very clear here. You have sinned. Do you feel that sin in your heart? No. You don't... I, this is a very difficult case. It's, you need to you need to provide penance. You need to repent. Let's say a little prayer for us, will you? Please close your eyes. Lord, I know public transport can be difficult. And I know sometimes you want to sit down rather than stand. But when a man has his hand outstretched for you, that does not mean you should sit on it. And if you do happen to sit on a man's hand, Lord, please... Don't let us feel temptations or power. No matter what we feel in our heart, no matter what we know is socially acceptable and is perfectly fine in any, any normal sense of morals, ethics, or politics, as backwards as it may seem, we do not approve of that. Lord, please help guide this man back to a likely unloving and shattered heterosexual marriage that he may have one day, and may he be prosperous in having children that he will likely mistreat because of his hidden sexual feelings. That's okay. That's the way the Lord wants it. Lord, in your name we pray. Amen. Listen to me, Trey. Listen yeah. to me. Yeah. I need you to, this is a very special case. I need you to go home. Mm -hmm. I need you to go into the bathroom, lock the door, and you are to watch an hour straight of heterosexual pornography. Am I clear? Yeah. <laughs> That's correct. You're going to watch that, and you're going to let those feelings wash over you. You have a, you have a wife? No. Okay. Then you're going to go to christianmingle.com, and you're going to register for an account. You're also going to go to Farmers Only, and you're going to register for an account. You're going to cancel your little date with your hand buddy, and you're going to sign up. You're going to have at least three dates before next Sunday with some nice young Christian women. No touching. No hand holding. Nothing of the kind. Okay. Just some nice, wholesome Christian dates with them and their family and chaperones. Do you hear me? Yeah. That's correct. And then when you get home, three Hail Marys, two Hail of Grace, and uh, like I said, an hour of heterosexual pornography. Is that clear? Yeah. Do, do I pay at this window or do I pull it to the next one? Uh, Hallelujah! Holy shit! That's right. Hallelujah. Holy shit. Thank you so much for coming to confessional, brother. Amen. Amen. Well, folks, that was an incredible, incredible segment there. Sin. Let me tell you about sin. Sin. Sin is so dastardly. You may not even realize you've been sinning. You may also mispronounce it a sign. That's how devious sin can be. You can't even pronounce it right sometimes. But the thing about sin is as long as you recognize that you have sinned and you come to confessional and you spend an awkward 5, 10, 15 minutes talking to a priest and then pretend to do the things that he asks you to do and then come back later and tell him that you did those things whether or not you actually did them, you're all right in the Lord's eyes. That's the beauty of sin, is that technically Jesus Christ died for all of your sins, all of our sins, which means it's okay to keep sinning because Jesus Christ has already died for them. So it's kind of like an endless sin situation where you can just keep sinning as much as you want because technically Jesus has already died for all of our sins, and therefore you could just keep sinning. Ain't that right, Brother William? Oh, Brother William, I'm sorry. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Brother William. That's right. I think we've got to go on to our third game of today's Sunday service. That's right. Catechumen. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Gotta come, man. Gotta come, man. That's right. The perfect game. Uh, this one required me to install one Internet Explorer 4. Uh, oh my play. goodness. Hey, hey, oh, hey. Bitch, you better praise God or I'm a shooting that's on God. I ain't playing by my Lord and Savior. I'm on my job. Oh, God bless. Any way you can bless the Lord, even sometimes in ways that sound like are uh, sacrilegious, it still counts as prayer. I love Oops. it. I got to put a CD in my CD drive. <laughs> 
Ketchikum man is pronounced cat acumen catacumen catacumen uh is apparently an incredible game uh it takes place in rome in 171 a.d uh there's a lot of detail on this page i am currently looking at when really i just want to look at uh, some more specific details it is a uh roman themed first person shooter game that came out on october 1st 2000 the engine Brother William, I'll give you one guess as to what the engine of this game is called. The Catacumen. No, it's called Genesis 3D. <laughs> That's an incredible, incredible name. I am so excited. I'm looking at some screenshots. I'm peeking at a little bit. This looks great. I can't wait. Oh, my. Oh, yeah. This Please game Lord. is even bigger than the other game. We have a question from the chat, Brother William. Perhaps you could answer this from Mizuki Brothers. Because Ooh. Titus fights against a monster called Sin, is Final Fantasy X a Christian video game? Maybe. We Maybe. may have to find that out. I would, I've never played nor seen one, but I would love to, to know. I would also love to know why the audio in this particular game and the games we have played are terrible. It's because they're old games, that's why. Ah, uh, you're right. Um, oh, this oh. is incredible. Oh, boy. Just I thought that was oh, oh. a little... Oh, we're oh. in the capital. <laughs> is this January 6th? Oh, <laughs> if this message should find you, know that not all is well in Rome. I have been taken to I a dungeon was a sound alert. deep within Rome's temples, where I am held with several Christian deep brothers. Deep Rome's temples. It is difficult to see the light, but <laughs> Lucky we Rome. hold faithful, ever vigilant for aid from the Lord. Your period of apprenticeship is nearing an end, and soon you will leave the title of catechumen behind to become a catechumen. <laughs> catechumen. That may pass, Catch cup man. Thing that I ask. Hey, hey, what spice do we put in this? Cat and cumin man. Strength to <laughs> enter the catacombs of Rome. It's cat cumin. Delicious. Oh, that's terrifying. I'm not gonna lie, this looks like one of those itch.io games that's going for a PSX sort of thing. They nailed it. It's 2000. 2000. Just 11 months before uh, Twin Towers. Uh, okay, we're here. Uh, we're gonna hit uh, the game. We're gonna hit a new game. Let's go a little easy here. Oh, we're praying. Praise be. Praise be. <gasps> well, it doesn't use WASD, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> it's a keyblade. <laughs> E, F, space? Let me look it up for you. Uh, well, E, F, and space aren't very close to the arrow keys, are they? <laughs> Maybe not. Troll? Oh, whoops. Uh, apologies. Daddy's uh, looking for you, okay? Let me check. Let me check. Options. Customize controls. Movement. Oh, I can do the mouse button. Okay. Uh, looking. You know, Better I've heard things. that there's a... A Japanese Christian game series called Kingdom Hearts. Maybe we should play that. I that seems way too long for a sermon. <laughs> turn, turn, turn. To, yep. Oh, there, there you go. go. <laughs> I couldn't tell if it was hey, a glitch or. No, it didn't. What, what are you, <laughs> what looking, are you at? looking at? What are, what are you, you looking at? at? What? What are There's you some technology at? in this game. There's a lot of technology in this game. Do I kill him? Do I pray him to death? What let me are help you, you looking brother. at? What are you looking at? Uh, let me help you, brother. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? My audio's coming out of the wrong ears. What are you, what looking, are you at? looking at? Can you can you hit right mouse button? What are button? you looking at? What are you looking at? What Begin by grabbing at? the key in the opening what are you area. Looking at? Use the key to open the door on the right side of the patio. Uh, let me see. Uh, try doing P. P. 
Uh, right mouse button, enter. Oh, I had to... Had to land on it. I'm sorry, folks. Brother William can be a little slow. <laughs> it's his day of rest, at? after all. What, what, what do I hit now? Enter. What There's a door at? to the left. Oh, to the left. In the courtyard, there should be a door on the left. Hey, maybe oh. the war you just went... Yeah, there you... Oh, maybe not that one. It says, use the key to open the door on the right side. I got it. That's right, the left oh, side. Oh, oh. Oh. Bold Lord in heaven, who that? This action to defy the evil one is not without risk. His demons have possessed the minds of Roman soldiers. If your heart be set what upon action, then take I'm the having sinful of the thoughts, spirit. brother Ian. <laughs> Remember, confrontation is often. Kyle of the Beard points out there's another incredible so. Christian game. I know it's it's I know it's incredible right from the title, Devil May Cry. Oh, he's gonna If cry. we can make the devil cry. I want to be clear, this is not a shooting game. Oh. Wow. You went to heaven already. Praise be. Praise be. Praise Should be. We do, we want, do we want to try some more of this game? Yeah, let's play a little bit more. I'm going to have to change, change the controls for next week. Speed run, now we they know call how to this. Speed run it. Speed round to heaven. Hey, uh, it. The right way. Screw you. Did you get your thingy? Oh, oh, no. oh no. Should we move on? Bartholomew! Let me give him one more try here. Okay, that's fair. If your heart be set upon action, then take this sword of the spirit. Remember, confrontation is often best avoided. Father, son, and spirit. Do I have to crouch? What was that? What was I? Does that make them go to the spot? Hey, who are you? No, I believe you hit them with it. No, because he said avoid confusion. Uh, that lousy. <laughs> It'll take three or four hits. You have to hit them, though. Go first. Praise be unto him. Um, uh, praise be unto him. I'm sorry. I apologize, folks. Brother William. He confessed. What? You can make them confess their sins? He confessed. Oh, a TV. Hello. <laughs> Oh, wash my nose! Oh, damn! Getting some Jesus points. I want these scrolls. Oh, I think uh, it gets shells. Oh, that's not gonna want to open. We have some uh, heathens in the chat talking about how sinfully thick hey, these Romans look. Hey, who are you? How I dare ye! Oh, 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 don't pin me down. Oh, stop pinning me down. Oh, not that face. <laughs> that's a 10 out of 10 game. game. <laughs> oh, that's a, oh, a key. <laughs> oh, I love it. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <laughs> oh, now you can pick those up. That's weird. I think uh, when I was losing health. Uh, oh. Let me see if this oh, goes Oh, it's health. Stop it. <laughs> Try upstairs. Praise the Lord! <laughs> that was terrifying. Uh, uh, just, what was that? No! Oh, no. Oh, folks. Folks. Uh, there's one more thing we gotta hit before we uh, finish finish out here uh today which is of course we gotta take communion i'm gonna That's head, right. on, head on over to the communion we need to present 
That's right. We need to present our communion. I'll say a prayer. And then we shall partake. Uh, let me just, uh, I realized I did not. There we go. Over on communion here. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to hit the music. Uh, Brother Ian, are you leading communion this week? I will be leading communion. Shall we present? Shall we present the instruments of communion? The instruments of communion for his body. We have the Lord Doritos. Doritos. And for his blood. For his blood. Oh, I don't work with I don't work with green screen. What? <laughs> that doesn't work either. Oh. <laughs> you idiot. I oh. have flaming hot Cheeto Mountain Dew. That's uh, right. Because the Lord should burn in your throat. Let's go ahead and uh, let's let's grab a chip and grab a pour, and then I'll say our prayer, and we shall partake. Mm. Let me get a nice one in here. Smells oh, smells like my sinful is. days. There she is. Let me put on my little communion plate right there. That's my oh, communion that's plate. Let me pour a little bit. I'll burp back. Oh, Lord in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Okay, let me pour. It's my little glass here, just a little sippy. I'm just gonna pour out a little bit of this death. I, I have Mountain Dew. What do you have there, brother? I have flaming hot Cheeto Mountain Dew. Oh, praise be. Praise be. Now let me see. Let me say prayer. <clears throat> Dear Chef Keeley, video game Jesus. I believe that you are present in every save screen and safe room. I love you above all things, even loot boxes. And I desire to game with you in my soul. Since I cannot hand you the controller at this moment, I must embrace you via sacrament and ingest your true gaming products into my body. I drink of your nectar as if poured by you, and I taste of your chips as if dusted by your hand. May this sacrament bring us closer to your gaming glory, and may we never be separated from your news and leaks. In Jeff Keeley's name we pray. Amen. And the award goes to Jeff Keeley. Mmm, <sighs> burns like the Lord. Mm. Incredible. Incredible. Well, folks, that's going to be doing it for this evening's service. Will, Brother Will, will you take care of the outro and let these folks know all about us? Folks, you can find our ministry, subpixelfilms.com, and bring you straight to, uh, to our YouTube channel where you can uh, watch all of our great content, uh, including the podcast local chat, which is Thursday night at 9 p.m., as well as a multitude of other shows that we stream on Twitch. Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays at 9 p.m. Eastern. You head on over to our socials. That's Subpixel Team on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and that Facebook that you love so much. Uh, and you can check us out there and enjoy the hot content that we provide you. Uh, and now we move on to an ending ending note here from Brother Ian before we close for, Folks, the, I, for the day. Thank you, Brother William. Folks, I... Beautiful people in our congregation, I hope there are some key things you take away from today's service. We have shown you how to be a good, clean Christian gamer. You don't need to be playing no Fortnites or no Gods of War in their Norse heathen uh, just abominations. There are good Christian games for you to play. There are good Christian drinks for you to drink and snacks for you to chew from. You can find the Lord Jesus Christ all around you. All you have to do is open your heart to the two C's, Christ and capitalism, and you will find him all around you. Mm -hmm. We'll see you folks next Sunday for another Sunday service. Amen. Amen.